So, the Suicide Squad game is here. It is available for everybody now. We're no longer in early access. A ton of people have been able to get their hands on the game and try it out. And yeah, some people have been fairly negative on the game. Some people have also been rather positive. When I posted my review, a lot of people in the comment section were telling me how much they're enjoying the game, which honestly, I'm glad to hear. I'm glad that some people out there are having a good time with this game. And you know, it's a live service, so one thing that we can expect from Suicide Squad is that they're gonna be supporting it post-launch. And Rocksteady has already gone into some of the ways that they're going to be supporting Suicide Squad. The latest episode of the Suicide Squad Insider confirmed that Joker is going to be joining the game. He is going to be coming as part of a free seasonal update starting in March. This is coming alongside a ton of new content that's all going to be for free, including new ways for you to hit that thumbs up button. But we all want to know what's coming beyond the Joker. You know, they sort of hinted in their roadmap some of the things that we can expect in seasons two through four, but we don't know exactly. That was until people beat the game and realized that the game we have our hands on right now gave us a huge tease of some of the new playable characters we can expect. And I know we're all starting to get starved for new content already. And you know, speaking of being hungry, let me take us to today's sponsor. Today's video here is sponsored by Factor. Now, if you haven't heard already, Factor provides you fresh and never frozen meals that are ready to go. All you got to do is heat them up and they taste incredible. These ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. There are over 35 different options to choose from every single week. If you're on a keto diet, if you want something that's calorie smart, if you're vegan, vegetarian, whatever your dietary preferences are, Factor's got you covered. It's just the perfect solution if you're looking for fast or upscale options done easily. You know, doing YouTube sometimes means that I'm working late nights and I don't have enough time to cook dinner. And even if I were to cook, there's all this mess that you gotta clean up. With Factor, you eliminate all that. It's easy. Heat up your meal, enjoy said delicious meal, and then just throw it out. No mess, no problem. Thankfully, Factor's gonna hook it up for you guys, all right? Head to factor75.com or the link in the description box below and use my code CABOOSE50. That's gonna get you 50% off from your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. You get two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Once again, that is factor75.com and use caboose 50. So what are you waiting for? Head to that link in the description box below. Check out that QR code and get started with factor today. With that being said, I've been caboose. Thank you to factor for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to it. So like I said, you know, we have a ton of stuff coming in season one for suicide squad kill the just League. The Joker is a new playable character. We're getting new boss fights and enemy variants, which I mean, we kind of know what to expect from that if you played through the game. And I'll be honest, I'm not entirely hyped for it, but also we're going to be getting a new playable area. It's a very Joker themed area, new weapons that are themed after DC villains being Two-Face and Scarecrow, and just a ton more. Then over on the other side of the roadmap, seasons two through four hint at a landscape that's covered in ice, what looks to be Arkham Knight's Gotham, and considering the Suicide Squad insider, we're probably going to Arkham Asylum as well. And then I'm not sure what that is on the far right, but that looks to be Metropolis. And so what are the characters that are going to be tied to these DLC locations? Well, once you beat the game, you get a splash screen that says the fight against Brainiac will continue in season one and beyond. Expect new gear, Elseworlds, and squad members as you chase Brainiac across dimensions. Over on the far left, as it confirmed here, Joker is joining the game as part of season one. The other three, though, are silhouettes, but some of them you can kind of make out and some of them we can actually break down what the character most likely is. So the second DLC character, Post Joker, it looks to be pairing it with that icy snowy landscape that we saw in the actual roadmap is probably either Captain Cold or Mr. Freeze. Initially I was theorizing that we could see someone like Killer Frost and that would have been cool but from the looks of it considering they're wearing like an exosuit I'm assuming that's Mr. Freeze or Captain Cold. And you know the fact that this is from Rocksteady it's set within the Arkhamverse I would wouldn't be surprised if that's just Mr. Freeze. Of course, considering the events of Batman Arkham Knight's Season of Infamy DLC, I don't think this is going to be the Mr. Freeze of our prime Earth, but most likely a multiversal Mr. Freeze. And I'm very intrigued as to what the gameplay could be like with this character. I have my issues with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, but one of the things where I think this game really shines is in its gameplay and the traversal for the characters. And I mean, imagine if you're using his freeze gun to essentially create a trail of ice as 
you traverse through the open world, that could be a lot of fun. Then following that, the character past what I assume is Mr. Freeze. I have no idea who that could be. Of the three that we see beyond the Joker, that's the one that's the hardest to make out. My DC knowledge does not stretch this far. If you have any idea who this could be, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. But looking at the ground there, you know, it's looking a little molten. I'm assuming that this DLC pack is gonna be the one that features the Arkham Knight Gotham and then as well Arkham Asylum. And again, for as many issues that I do have with this game, and believe me, there are plenty. I think it's pretty cool that they're adding new playable areas and as well iconic areas like Arkham Knight's Gotham and Arkham Asylum into the game for free. But see now, now this is where, this is where I get excited, okay? So far from what we're seeing of the DLC characters coming to the game, there hasn't been a character that's really jumped at me, you know, character that I really want to be in the game. Don't get me wrong, Mr. Freeze, I think would be pretty fun. And again, if his traversal is like I am thinking, using the freeze gun to make these ice slides around the open world, depending on how it's executed, that would be pretty sweet. But it's not one of those characters that I've been highly requesting. It's not one of those characters where I'm like begging for them to be in the game. I didn't even have Mr. Freeze on my radar as a character to be playable in this game until you beat the game and you got this little splash page. But that fourth DLC character all the way off into the corner, it's pretty hard to tell who that could be. But if you're a fan of the comics, if you're a fan of the character, hell, if you're a fan of Batman Arkham Origins, you know who that is. I see a dude in the air looking like a ninja with just even a hint of orange. Yup. That has got to be Deathstroke. And hell, I mean, this makes sense. Listen, if you go all the way back to Batman Arkham Origins, the post credit scene for that game actually sets up a Suicide Squad game, and he was meant to be the first recruit. Couple that with the fact that, you know, there are plenty of Easter eggs to Deathstroke in this game. I mean, Deadshot's locker literally calls him Deathstroke by mistake. There's even Deathstroke graffiti that you can find if you're just free roaming around the open world. So while I'm not super comfortable to sit here and tell you this is 100% confirmed. It is all but confirmed at this point. Again, when I see a dude in a ninja pose like that looking cool, and I see just even a tiny little bit of orange, you just know at that point, it's it's gotta be Deathstroke. And this is a redemption arc for the character because again, the gameplay in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is super fun. And at least in terms of traversal, a lot of these characters feel fairly unique from one another. And well, the last time we got to play as Deathstroke was in Batman Arkham Origins and he was kind of just Robin. A lot of his animations and the way that he felt as a playable character was fairly similar to Robin from Batman Arkham City. So I'm really hoping that they go all out with his inclusion here in Suicide Squad if that fourth silhouette there actually is Deathstroke, which I think it is. And honestly, I have no idea what his traversal could be like, but I do got faith and I trust Rocksteady will give him traversal that's just as fun and fluid as the main Suicide Squad that we have available in the base game. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. And with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. So right now, based on that splash page that you get at the end of the game, it looks like Mr. Freeze or Captain Cold is coming to the game alongside what I assume to be Deathstroke. That other character in between the two of them, I'm not really sure who that is. So, well, sound off with your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think that third mystery character is going to be? And also, what do you think about the other potential DLC characters coming to this game? Will this be enough for you to want to keep coming back for months on end with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, or are you currently uninterested? As I usually like to say, try to keep it civil in the comments section below, and of course, I will keep you up to date on all things with this game, so make sure you're subscribed make sure you got those notifications on with that being said i've been caboose i'll see you guys later